How do we fetch data from an external API or a server? How do we fetch data in Next? Say for example we want to put some data from the GitHub API in our About page. How do we do that? Let's go to our About page and instead of having a stateless functional component where we return some markup, let's copy what we're returning and replace this component with a stateful one that we immediately export. We'll call this class about and it'll extend a React component, so we'll need to import that. Import component from React. Have our render and return, and we'll paste in the markup that we previously had in the return. So we have the same output. Now, if we want to fetch data, normally in a stateful component, we'd use the lifecycle hook component did mount. We use an HTTP client like fetch which is built into the browser to make a request to some endpoint. Here it would be api.github.com slash users, and then we specify a username. I'll use my account. And since this is a promise, we're going to have within this then statement returned our response from the request, where we'll need to parse the JSON, the JSON data that we get back. We'll add another then, where we're returned the actual user data from the request, and since this is a stateful component, we'd likely have a state object with a user property on it, initially set to null, which we would update using the method this.setState. So we'd take that user property and update it with the data that we're getting. And to show that that works, we can just dump all of the user data that we're putting in state with json.stringify and our return and referencing this.state.user. So we'll save that and check out our browser. We see we get a big object with all of our user data that we requested. And if we look in our React Dev Tools, we search for the about component. We see all of that same data put on our user property in state. However, since we're not creating a client rendered React app, how do we do this with a server rendered app? How do we do this with Next? Well, instead of using a lifecycle hook like component did mount, although we can use it, we have access to one called get initial props. And this is a helpful method because it works with both stateful and stateless components. And we're putting stuff on the props object instead of state, since, of course, stateless components don't have access to state. We can't create state objects for them. So it's helpful to be able to put stuff on the props object. And this method is also a static method. And this means that it can be executed right here within the class, or it can be executed outside of it. It's a method that belongs to the about class, the about class in this case. And we can just define our get initial props function right here with all of its logic. So we use get initial props to fetch data and put it on our props object. For now, let's just copy our fetch call and put it in get initial props. We know that we're not putting data in the state object. We can remove that. Let's just try console logging it. And we'll remove the state object entirely. And we'll see what happens. I'll just comment out this state.user value. So we'll save that. And we're getting an error, an unhandled rejection. Fetch is not defined. Now, why is this? Well, if we take a look at our terminal, we get an indication of what's taking place. Now, we usually don't get a stack trace. We don't get an error message if something is just an error that is happening on our client. So we're being told fetch is not defined. Now, we're getting this error because get initial props runs everything within it, in this case, our fetch call, on the server. So it's trying to get data as soon as possible. The idea is that since we can server render our React app, why don't we also just fetch data on the server as well? So we're making this request on the server and it's telling us that, okay, fetch is not defined since it's in the browser. It's a browser API. So Okay, how do we fix this? So normally we could just install an HTTP client like Axios that would be able to run on the server or the client. In this case, to be able to use fetch, there's a couple of packages that we can use. So we'll end our dev script and install isomorphic unfetch. 
Now with that installed, we can start up our dev script again, and up at the top of about, we'll import fetch from isomorphic unfetch. So let's try running this again. Now we're getting a different error about get initial prop should resolve to an object but found undefined instead. Well, the name of this method kind of indicates what we need to do. We're getting initial props, and unlike using set state, we don't have a method to put it on props. All we need to do in order to put our desired data on the props object is just to return that data within an object. So technically all we have to do is just return an object and that error will go away. However, we do want to put something in our props. We could do something static like just adding a user property and setting it to the string user. If we save that and check out our about component again. If we refresh. We can see that string was added as a user property. But of course to get our user data from GitHub we need to be able to return that and put it within this object. So an easier way to write this promise is to use the async await syntax. We'll comment this out. We'll use the async keyword right before the static keyword and get initial props. We will await, we'll await resolution of our fetch call. So we can uncomment this. And when we make a request to that endpoint, we'll get back our response hopefully in a variable that we'll call res. Then we know we need to parse our JSON data, so we'll store the data from that await call in one called data, and then we can remove this. Then we can set the data that we're getting back to our user property. Now we can save that, and instead of referencing this.state.user in our markup, we can reference this.props.user. And now we can see all the data returned from GitHub on the page. So now instead of dumping this data with json.stringify, let's do it the React way of destructuring the things that we need from props to give us a more convenient path. So we'll destructure user from props and we'll remove our link. And if we have a bio for our GitHub account, we can say user.bio or we can include our name. And instead of having this JavaScript logo as our image, we can just include user.avatar underscore URL. And we can replace the alt with me or read in my case. We can save that. And finally, we can see our user data from GitHub on the page.